Doggone it, Miss Sadie. I'm right back where I started. I didn't get me no baby after all. No, but you got a dog. But I reckon somebody else will have to be doing all those things you were planning to do for baby. Huh? Sitting up nights with her, seeing that she has a bottle, buying her the best pair of jeans on the market, and bouncing her on your knees. <laughs> Well, how's it for you, Harry? Okay. What about it, Chuck? Okay, Mr. Tom. Gosh, Chris, I guess we got it all. Have we missed anything? I don't believe so, okay. I think that's it. Good. Well, you people relax a little bit, will you? Ray, I think we did real good. If we've got it all, I think we have. Uh, we took, had our first take. Uh, yeah. First picture was about 9.30. We got the whole thing in the can in less than nine hours. That's pretty exciting. Look, uh, doing well, Kay. Good. Uh, Chuck, pull that around here, will you? I'm full of this thing. I'd like to tell these people a little bit about our day's work. Very exciting day to me. I'm uh, Kay Lowe, the director of this uh, little opera. And I was just talking to Ray Cully, who is head of Cinecraft and the producer of this film. I'd like to tell you a little bit about uh, the uh, three-camera technique that we've used on this picture. It's a technique that Mr. Cully and I talked about at great length ten years ago. And it's a technique that he's been working on in commercials uh, for the last 10 years, on and off. He's uh, produced enough of them to feel that uh, we we're ready to go on an entertainment film. A couple of months ago, he made this decision, and uh, we got our office together and our actors together, our company together, and uh, we're all ready to go with a pre-rehearsed show when he came into the studio this morning. That is one of the things that uh, made me very happy today, that we, our company was all ready, our cameras were very flexible, we were covered on everything. We were covered on two shots, uh, Long shots, close-ups, uh, over the shoulder, and so forth. So in the cutting room, it's a, it's a delight to cut a picture like this. Now, one of the things that this three-camera technique does, to be very simple to uh, clear, I think, is that uh, we can cut the price tremendously. Uh, when we can do a film of this type, a quality film, in one day, it uh, makes it possible, or at least conceivable, that we could sell a picture like this uh, for as low as $100 to $150 uh, per market uh, per show. And that is, of course, as you know, uh, something has been unheard of until this time. I would like to say a little bit, uh, I think, uh, maybe about the company and about the... Yeah, the, the actors and so forth. And well, you put your show the, um, the, 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 the authors are capable of changing this script any way we uh, deem it advisable. We do know that we, uh, we have a script that has uh, uh, certain elements that may lack certain elements, may lack heart, may lack farce quality, may lack just sheer unadulterated jokes. But uh, the authors have worked uh, hand in glove with the producer, the director, and uh, they are able uh, to push this show in any direction we think it ought to go. Now, the company, we're very fortunate in having a company of actors in Cleveland who are, have been in all phases of the entertainment field for many years, and the various scripts that follow this one are already cast and all ready to go. So that all we have to do is to go in rehearsal and uh, then take in front of the cameras. Uh, that I like because we... No, the actors know where they're going and simply do the show. Uh, what else we got in our minds? What about the commercial possibility? Well, that's obvious. The, that's why we're doing this, is we're making a movie, a television show, for a sponsor. Uh, we can, uh, in, within the limitations of this particular script and this set, uh, as you can see, we have all kinds of canned goods, flowers, teas, coffees, whatnot on our shelves. We have uh, a large... Uh, uh, potential outside of it. For example, uh, we threw the Hudson commercial in just to indicate that we didn't have to have on our shelves the type of thing we were selling. Uh, this uh, three-camera technique, which uh, Cinecraft uh, calls uh, Cinescope, uh, will allow us to go inside this room, outside this room, anywhere we choose to go because it's flexible. Now, uh, the uh, commercial possibilities, I won't labor it because it's evident that if we need a gas station, if we're interested in oil, we can put one outside our window and use that uh, and also go into shoes and corsets and whatnot since Sadie wears them all. I think uh, maybe uh, that's more or less done it, hasn't it? I 
I think we ought to say a little bit about next week's show. Well, uh, there's not much to say about next week's show. The scripts are ready, the actors are ready. All we have to do is go into rehearsal. So, uh, Miss Paxton, I think uh, we ought to get the company together and re start rehearsing Monday morning for the next script to be shot next Saturday, perhaps. So I think we... This in the next week's no, show. <laughs> the, next, the next setup is the gentleman in, in question has a... Uh, has already got the baby and he's interested in being a sitter, very obviously so. So let's put clap sticks on it and call it a day. Sadie Ferguson, Red River, Oklahoma, scene 10A, take one. <laughs>